guys, it's Tony with Backwoods Biker Magazine and Wood Tramp Outdoors. I'm out in uh, beautiful Farmington, Illinois, and as I promised, we're going to introduce you to another small guy company, and it's a good one. Hang tight. The company that I want to introduce you to is called Possum House and Soft Goods out of Wheeling, West Virginia, owned by Jay Hercules. And, uh, you know, my introduction to uh, Jay Hercules actually came through a, a backdoor introduction uh, back in 2017. <clears throat> it was suggested during our ramp up for our 2018 gear review expedition where we went out and tried a multitude of gear, tested it out, reviewed it, etc. That we had um, a company that did canvas backpacks and wax canvases. And uh, so that became a part of the program, wax can canvas uh, rucksacks. And uh, one of the companies that was suggested to us by many people, and a lot of them uh, were uh, had a military background, so we got, that got our attention, name of that company was John Pack. And uh, you've seen my reviews on the John Pack, and this was this was the guy right here. Um, it came from uh, John Langston. He is the original designer uh, and the original builder. And he did a great job on this pack. It was just, you know, as a matter of fact, it became my favorite canvas backpack. And if I'm being honest, it is probably out in the bush with me more than any other pack that I have, and I probably have uh, seven, eight, ten, maybe eleven. I don't remember, uh, but I love the pack. I love the build, the design, the quality of the materials, uh, the functionality of it, and it's it's not real fancy. Uh, it's a bucket style pack that has a front uh, pouch on it that is covered. Uh, it has an axe sleeve on one side, and it has a buck saw sleeve on the other. Uh, I said axe sleeve, but it's actually, you know, just an axe attachment is what it is. It has a sleeve up here to catch it. Your head uh, of your axe will go down here with the leather strap and the buckle. <laughs> but it's, it's really simple. And John did a great job. And back in 2017, I think these were uh, $145 in that range, somewhere around there. And uh, John Langston uh, hooked up with Dave Canterbury of Self Reliance Outfitters, and Dave contracted him to make an exclusive uh, bag that he would be the only dealer for those. And so it became the DC Trailblazer. And uh, John does have a, a day job. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what the day job is, but he does have a day job. Uh, and doing these packs and the bed sleeves he did took up a lot of his time. So he contracted a well-known uh, guy that was a builder of everything canvas, and that happened to be Jay Hercules. And uh, him and Jay made an agreement, and uh, in a couple of years' time, Jay was not only making bags, but he did some design changes, and those design changes is found in this particular um, bag. This is the DC Trailblazer, um, and there was, there was some, some pretty good on this, you know, a lot of things are the same, uh, but you know, to me, the canvas may may be a little bit heavier, but uh, everything in it is, is just about the same that, that you can see in this pack here. Uh, but you know, one of the improvements that he made is he put the grab handle on the top up here, uh, which to me, man, if you've got a bag of, of any size, it needs to have a grab handle. You know, I know a lot of them don't, a lot of the old school bags don't, but it, this just makes it so much more convenient to throw it up in your rig, uh, to be able to hang it from a tree. But these packs today um, run about $175 on Self Reliance Outfitters uh, page, and that's the only place that you can buy these. Uh, it's a great pack. But now, this isn't about selling anything here today. I'm just telling you how I got introduced to this guy. And I got my hands on this updated bag, and I thought, wow, you know, this guy uh, has, has got some gas in the tank. You know, 
Oops. So I reached out to him and said, look, uh, we did the original pack. Would you like to submit your updated pack that you are now uh, modifying and building uh, for John Langston, you know, slash SRO? And so he sent me that pack, and then I thought, man, this guy has, has, has really got something going on. His attention to detail is impeccable. And the improvements that he made on this bag, you know, I mean, only a builder with a mind like his can come up with it. So, uh, you know, I really started enjoying this company. And uh, for the price point on it, uh, even though it jumped up $30, really, this bag, this stock, this is a lifetime bag. It, it truly is. Uh, for $175, it's good. And uh, he asked me, hey, would you want to see some of my other things? And so... Uh, you know, we have, have received several products, and I just kind of want to show them to you to give you an idea what this little little company's doing. He's only got a, himself and maybe one or two other people, if that, that works with him in Wheeling, West Virginia, in his shop. Uh, but the, the next thing he sent me, which these aren't, these aren't new. These have been around for a long time, but these are called uh, a, a perch or a camp saddle. There's a lot of terms for these. You know, they look like a uh, a pyramid style or, or a triangle, and they've got pouches on all three corners. His is made out of a very heavy duty canvas, uh, and they have copper rivets in them. Uh, and what you do is you bushcraft a two foot tripod, or ever how high you want it, and you lash it with a tripod lash. And then you put, you know, you open it up and you put one of those uh, tripod poles in each uh, pocket. And you've got a quick, rugged, very comfortable uh, chair, you know. And these are uh, $29.95, something like that. And that was one of the things that, that started getting our attention because a lot of, lot of small companies, what they do is um, they have to buy their material in small lots, which really makes their uh, expenses go up, uh, you know. And his stuff that I've seen has been absolutely phenomenally reasonable, you know, and everything he has is like the John pack that he made, this BC Trailblazer. Everything is tough, man. I mean, this this right here is, is you know, we've used it not a lot, you know, maybe four or five times, uh, and it is, it's stood the test of time for us, you know, so that was, that was one of the things. Another thing that he sent, it was like, wow, now, when I first thought, I man, this thing looks like a tablecloth. It's got stars on it, squares, and all that stuff. But he calls this a shaman dana, and and I gotta tell you, man, this thing is absolutely huge. This thing is is very very big. You can use it as a shama. You can use it as a bandana. You can use it as a sling. You know, it's made out of cotton. You know, I mean, there's so many things you can use it as a filter, uh, bandages. Whatever. You know, if you've got emergency situation, survival situation, and you need to make some char uh, char cloth, you can cut a corner off of that, you can do that, you know. But this is probably the biggest uh, shemag that I've seen, and it's it's heavy duty. Um, most shemags that you see, you know, we got introduced to shemags when I was in the military. But uh, the citizenry uh, didn't really see them until the call for, uh, and people started bringing them back with them. You know, and now everybody and their brother wants a, wants a shemag. But uh, with the shemags that, that were used in the Middle East, uh, they were made to allow a uh, breeze to, to blow through them, to keep the sun off, but allow that breeze to come through. And they really didn't have too well of a function in, in the wintertime. And if you had one, you know what I'm talking about. You had to really fold them up, and now you're defeating the purpose for what they were really designed to do. This is very heavy. And I don't know what uh, grade of material this is, how many ounces uh, this is, but it's it's a great thing, you know. And these are only like 15 bucks. And again, you know, one of the best us about this guy is that his, his stuff is all very reasonable. Uh, then he sent us these. Uh, these are called candy hooks. And they're just a, a candy sack. They come in all kinds of sizes. You know, uh, they start at fourteen ninety five or something like that. Uh, but you can see, you can, you know, you can put tools in these. Uh, you can put a, a small silky saw in this. You can put a knife in this if you want. You can use it for a tinder bag, kindling bag, 
Uh, you can build a fire kit out of out of these. You can use it for uh, gathering um, nuts, berries, mushrooms, whatever you know. Uh, and for the price of them, they're they're pretty stinking cheap. And again, these things are built absolutely tank tough. All right. And then uh, next thing up, this is this is really handy here. Uh, this guy here is called the Signal Joey. Uh, and what this is, to me, it is like a haversack, a small haversack without straps on it. Uh, it has a bucket style, cup style, just fold over and sewn very, very good um, along the edges. I mean, this thing is tough. And then it's ribbon. It's got rivets on it to where you can latch this to the back of the backpack. This can be used as a signal panel if you need to. Uh, but you can put everything inside of here. It is solid on the front. And just a couple of great ideas. You know, we saw this. Uh, and we do this a lot. Hey, what do you think this would be worth? Uh, and we all had this over 50 bucks. It was 75, 85 dollars, something like this. Uh, but no, the signal Joey, it comes in three different sizes. Uh, the 12 inch is $29.95. That's this one. So that's only $29.95. Uh, the 10 inch, I've got that down here. It is $24.95. And then the 14 inch is $39.95. Right? So they're reasonably priced you know, for the size. And right now he's got to sell them. If you buy all three of them, you can get those for $59.95. You know? So that's, that's pretty stinking reasonable. And again, these are, these are lifetime products, right? And then the next thing. Uh, that uh, we got from him uh, was a wool blanket. Now it's 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 dead summer right now. It's June twenty seven uh, six. No, June twenty fourth right now. And we've had days uh, where uh, the temperature has been 90, 95, with the heat index of one hundred and five. It's been smoking hot. Do you really need a wool blanket during that time? My answer is absolutely yes, because Wool blankets have so many utilitarian purposes. Now, if you don't know all the benefits of a wool blanket, there's a ton of YouTube videos out there that you can watch. Um, but we did a video and we showed you a good, better, and best, you know, uh, wool blanket. And I think that the first one we showed you was a military style, you know, down and dirty, real cheap one. It was like $29.95, something like that. Uh, that even Tater didn't want to lay on it because it itched him too much. Uh, and then we had the upgraded version, which was a Czechoslovakian um, surplus. Uh, and that was like, I think, 60, 70 bucks, something like that. And that was a lot better blanket. And then the flagship of that video was a Merino wool from Fairbolt Mills. But, you know, and, and these are, though, that was a queen size, you know. So, Everybody says, you know, and I agree with this. I'll tell you too. If you're going to buy a wool blanket, buy a queen size because that way you can uh, pack yourself in burrito style and be out of the elements. Uh, but the one from Fairbolt Mills, it was a queen size. It was luxurious. But the problem is it's just a skosh under $400. I mean, that is a lot of money uh, to pay for a... Uh, blanket, you know, I get that. I get that. Uh, and we didn't have any really mid uh, weight or mid range blankets from the down and dirty, you know, just to get you into a wool blanket that was a little bit bigger than a twin size, up to the big queen from Fairbolt Mills uh, that was made out of merino wool. And then lo and behold, uh, Jay Wheeler, or excuse me, Jay <laughs> Hercules from Wheeler, West Virginia, sent us this blanket that just, it blew my mind. This is a phenomenal blanket from top to bottom. Um, you know, one of the first things that I look at, of course, is the fabric. I feel the fabric. What's it feel like? Is this going to be a nuisance? And the answer is no. It's not merino wool soft at all. Uh, but it is a very soft, very comfortable blanket. I have had this out with me uh, on an elevated uh, bushcraft uh, bed with a tarp over it when temperatures were about 45 degrees. Uh, and I was in one of his bed sleeves. 
Um, and uh, my first layer on that bed sleeve was a one of the wool blankets I told you about, the Czechoslovakian wool blanket. And then I used this to cover up with, and I was warm as toast all night long. Okay, so I look at the fabric and I judge the weight of it. And then I look at the seam because a lot of blanket makers, especially those that are trying to go budget, they fudge on these uh, hems. I call it the seam. Uh, they fudge on the hem of the blanket. And over the years, they'll come apart. But you look at this here. And this configuration, the build on this, looks at what you would find in much more expensive blankets than this one. Now, the size on this guy is 76 by 104. A regular queen is somewhere around 90 to uh, 90 by 90 or 90 by 96, something like that. And you're going to pay, a, for a decent one, you're going to pay around 250 bucks. Just average is what you're going to pay. If it's a good blanket, 100% wool blanket, that's what these are. This blanket is 76 by 104. So you've got plenty of room to be able to get up in that burrito style that you want. But what I like about this is that the weight of this gives you uh, more options as far as season wise, uh, because it's not so much it's going to uh, bake you in the, in the summertime because it doesn't. Uh, but you'll be able to use it into the winter. Uh, you know, I can't tell you you're going to get down into the below freezing temps and be comfortable unless you, you know, doubled up or something like that. But it'll get you close. I mean, as I said, mid 40s, wind biting. Uh, I was comfortable. Uh, and, you know, for the price of this, it's only $194. Uh, and some change, something like that. You cannot find a good premium quality wool blanket for that price, you know. And again, you know, the guy is is uh, always trying to give uh, his customers good prices, you know. Uh, and I, I tell you, I, I've got to applaud him. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you uh, is uh, what he calls the iron weed rucksack. That's this guy right here. Some of you may recognize the design of this if you were in the Boy Scouts. This looks like the old Yucca Packs uh, that uh, BSA was having designed all the way back to the 1930s. Uh, I was in the Boy Scouts in the late 60s, early 70s, and there were still Yucca Packs all over the place. You go on eBay or places like that, and you can still find those Yucca Packs. Uh, and I was looking yesterday just to compare prices, and the yucca packs were, uh, some of them were 250 275 They were wore out. It was crazy. Uh, but what he has done, he has not tried to copy the, the yucca pack, but he used it as his basic uh, design platform, and he has made improvements on it. <clears throat> and this here is not a wax canvas, but this is a commercial water resistant. I wonder if I've got the, uh, uh, it's 15 ounces, you know, so it's, it's pretty heavy. Uh, and usually wax canvas will run from 12 to 18 ounces. Uh, this is a 15 ounce, so it's a very, very good fabric. Uh, that's where it all starts, right? But then you look at the, the sew points, you look at the seams, you look how he puts his D-rings on. Uh, the lashings that, that he provides here, you know, um, it's, it's a great little pack here, you know, um, and this is, this is probably one of the most utilitarian canvas packs. I'm going to stand up here so I can I do this for you. It's a bucket style also, right? But it's a huge 41 liter bucket style. In here right now, just to make this stand up, I threw it in here. I'm uh, going to have the grandkids out uh, camping this weekend. I've got, uh, that is a one tigris uh, hot tent of some sort. I forget what that is. And then this is a seek outside teepee. All right. And they fit in there very, very well. Um, and as you can see, this thing is built tank tough. On one side, uh, you have a place for 
uh, a shovel. You could put a axe in here. You can put a buck saw in here. There's a lot of things that you could put here. On the other side, you've got a pocket that actually buttons down uh, on the inside of the uh, top of the lid, rather. It opens, being held together with these toggles, which are pretty cool. One thing that I'll say, though, i got to say this, and I know Jay's going to watch this, is that I would, I would do something different other than using paracord for this. You know, if you're going to use a cordage of this type, I might use a bank line instead so it'd be thinner, easier to get through the holes and all that. But look at that. That is a very generous top pocket that, I mean, the sky's the limit what you want to put inside of there. But, you know, uh, my main thing is, is introducing you. By the way, by the way, this is set up that you can either use it with the straps that come with it, or you can use an Alice Pack frame. Uh, we built a uh, hoop bow frame with it, uh, and it worked very, very well. But the Alice Pack frame would really uh, take this to another level, you know. So that's it right here, you know. I guess I want to tell you, though, what this pack costs. Uh, it'll blow your mind. Right now, I think that the retail on his website is $175, and they're on sale for $150. And he told me the other day that he's going to keep it at that price until... He runs out of this particular fabric, then he's switching to a, a, a different fabric. Uh, you, you can't beat that price for a pack of this quality. And again, that's a lifetime pack. That'll last you a lifetime. If you want something uh, to put something on there to make it even more waterproof, there's all kinds of products out there. You could wax it yourself. You know, uh, the bush butter that we make would, would be a great companion to that. Be able to wax it out, It'd be pretty good. Uh, but this one is 150 bucks, 175 regular price. But let's say that you want something more robust. You know, you want some uh, leather straps and you want the uh, copper rivets. Uh, then that pack, I've got it written down here, is $225. Okay, it's the same pack, but you just have some upgrades to it that cost him, you know, so he has to push the price out to you. Uh, and if you want a, a wax canvas uh, that has other upgrades to it, and the wax canvas, I wish if I did write it down, it's 18 ounce. So that is a very heavy, heavy uh, pack, you know. That is uh, $300 is what that says. Yep, $300. The sun's going down on me. Hit me right in the eyes right now. You know, so Possum Pouch Soft Goods. Jay, you've done a great job with your company. You are one of my favorite builders of all things canvas. I think you're doing a great job. Uh, you know, you saw the, uh, the the videos that we did on the rucksacks, uh, and uh, you know, Jay was saying, "Oh, I wish it, you know you I had known you were doing that." Well, I looked on his website, and that that rucksack that he's got, I, I tell you what, man, that is pretty pretty dope, uh, and I, I think that it would be right up there with those. Uh, that we gave high ratings, you know, but as far as a company's concerned, you know, I, I give all the kudos uh, to uh, Possum House Soft Goods. They're a great company, great customer service, very reasonable prices, and they are super easy to work with. When you call his number, and I'm going to give all that information here at some point in the video, you'll talk to him. He's the one that's going to answer the phone, uh, and he's great to work with. As a matter of fact, and I don't know if I should do this or not, but I guess it's a good time. Uh, we are currently designing a new wax canvas pack uh, that we uh, have collaborated with all together, all the Backwoods Biker and Wood Trent Gear folks. We've been sitting down and brainstorming, erasing, drawing it all over again, and we're just about there. And we're going to have a wood tramp ruck. That's what it's going to be called, the wood tramp ruck. And Jay Hercules is going to be our builder. Uh, we don't have a price point on it. Uh, and, you know, we're, we're talking to him right now. And we'll get a prototype going and just see where we go from there. So, uh, you know, be on the lookout for that. You know, now if the guy didn't have some corn in his crib, he wouldn't be building my ruck for me. Uh, and, you know, we got a lot of folks that have asked us, hey, can you guys uh, put together a, a rucksack? And the answer is yes. We've been thinking about it for several years. Now we've got a guy that we can trust 
uh, not only to be a great builder, but man, he's an honest dude. So I don't know what else I can tell you, but if you're looking for a place for canvas products, go out to uh, possumpouch.com. It's O P, not P O, it's O P O S S U M, like opossum, pouch.com. And you can see all the products that he has. But I'll warn you, when you go out there, you might get a little, a little disappointed because he sells out of stuff quick. He sells out of stuff quick. So get on the horn there on that phone and let him know that you saw it on Backwoods Biker. Uh, and anything that's regularly priced, if you are a Backwoods Biker uh, subscriber and you mention that to him that you're a subscriber, he'll give you 15% off. That's just the type of guy he is. You know, we want to push business to him. Uh, you know, as I said, I'm all for the little guys. That's why we're doing this series on the little guys. And uh, we've got about eight vendors that we've got in the pipeline that we're going to be doing articles on. His article is going to be the, in the magazine that's getting ready to launch real soon. We've had a lot of questions. You know, why haven't we seen a new magazine? Well, we had some problems. I don't want to just throw them out here and tell you everything that happened. I don't want to give any glory to anybody that has bad intentions. So, you know, just hang tough. We're getting the magazine out. It's going to be free again. Uh, and, uh, man, I appreciate you watching this video. If you like it, hit that subscribe button down there. We'll put your name in our daily or our monthly database for free gear. And like it, share it, tell your friends about it as well. And uh, so that's that's it, man. So until next time, you guys ride free. You live free, and as always, you be super safe out there. Thank <laughs> you.